Welcome to this video tutorial on the topic of export options with the CEREC Software 5. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate the different export options from the acquisition phase to the manufacture phase. The patient has been created and in the administration phase we have selected all relevant settings such as the restoration type, the design mode, the material and the positions within the odontogram. By tapping Next, we switch to the acquisition phase. Since we want to highlight the variety of export options with the CEREC software in this tutorial, we have already performed the individual scans. You now see the preset image catalogs, lower jaw, upper jaw, and buckle bite registration. At this point, you have the first opportunity to export the scan data. Therefore, we open the system menu after all the scans have been performed. In the acquisition phase, you can access the export function. A new window opens. Here you can define the file name and determine the folder to which you want to export the scanned data. Then you can export a CEREC case in the RST file format. This format includes only the scan data and no model data since the models are not correlated until we switch to the model phase. An RST file can be exported to any other CEREC software of the same software version or higher. By clicking Export, the process is initiated. We cancel the process and switch to the next phase, the model phase. Now that the model data have been calculated, additional export options are available. For this purpose, we open the system menu once again. In case you do not want to design or fabricate certain restorations chair side, there are two ways in which the data can be transmitted via the Connect Case Center portal or by exporting to a storage medium. For the first option, click the Serona Connect option and send the file data to your practice lab or your preferred dental lab. For this option to work, both parties must have an internet connection and a Connect customer account. The lab must have either the Connect Case Center inbox or an in-lab CAD software installed. With the inbox, the transmitted model data can be opened directly with in-lab or ExoCAD, or they can be saved in the corresponding format, or as an STL, UDX, or OBJ file. With the seamless workflow with in-lab and the validated workflow with ExoCAD, the preparation margin is transferred, in addition to the model data. Then the lab can either design and fabricate the restoration or, in the case of an in-lab software, create only the design and send back the model and restoration data for import into the CEREC software via the Connect Chat. To re-import into the CEREC software 5, the file must be in DXD format, which is available in the in-lab software as off version 18. To export the data to a storage medium, we select the option Export. Just like before, in the acquisition phase the window opens again, but in the model phase a larger selection of file formats is available. We tap the small down arrow so that all available export options will be displayed. With the first option, the model data will still be exported as an RST file which can be used for importing into a different CEREC software with the same version number or higher. The export in DXD format is specifically suited for import into the in-lab CAD software and transmits, in addition to the model data, the preparation margin determined by the dentist. The third export option is an STL file. CEREC software 4.5 and higher provides the option of exporting model data in STL format. The export contains only the model data. CAD data such as restorations, preparation margins, insertion axes, implant positions, or similar data will not be exported. There are three resolutions to choose from, highest, medium, and reduced. 
Not every receiving software can process all data volumes. The resolution must be selected depending on the program with which the data will be further processed. Please keep in mind that Densply Serona cannot assume any responsibility for further processing of CEREC STL data using third-party software. The SSI format is available if the CEREC Pro module is unlocked. This file format can be imported for implant planning into the Galileos implant software. A printed copy of the 3D PDF can be handed out to patients, or you can email the digital version. We close the export options once again, and switch to the next phase, the design phase. This phase is similar to the model phase before. We open our system menu, and can transmit the model data to our partner lab via the Connect Case Center portal. If the transmitted data are opened with the InLab or ExoCAD software, the marked preparation margin will also be displayed, in addition to the model data. When opening the data with any other lab software, only the model information is available. Next, we select the Export option once again. After opening the drop-down menu, the same export formats as in the model phase are available. The only difference is that from this phase, exported DXD data will also include the restoration data, in addition to the model data. This format can be used to import into an in-lab software, and with the in-lab software, a dental lab can fabricate the restoration that has already been designed. We close the export function and switch to the last phase, the manufacture phase. We will open the system menu once again. The export options are identical to the ones in the design phase. We can choose between Serona Connect and Export. We close the system menu and take a look at the last export option. For this to display, we tap the small down arrow in the window under Manufacture. A small drop-down menu opens. Here we have three different export options. By tapping the first option, the restoration data would be sent to our CEREC MCXLPP. Currently, this isn't possible since there is no working connection with the grinding and milling unit. Exporting to InLab CAM makes it possible to export restorations into the object list of InLab CAM. The InLab CAM offers a wider range of functions, such as nesting and stacking, for example. The last option is to export both your model and restoration data into a folder on your CEREC acquisition unit. Regardless of which option you choose, you will need to confirm the procedure by tapping Start. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with CEREC.